there is something in us that seek hard, scary, difficult things. On purpose, even with no one watching. We call it type two fun. You see, type one fun is like starting a movie comfortably on your couch, watching someone else do something that's cool. With type two, you're in the movie, trying to do the cool thing yourself with no guarantees that anything you do or try will work. This could be hiking a mountain, running 50 miles, doing a hard track workout, or it could be towing the line for your first mile or 5K. It's called type two fun because it hurts, especially when you're doing it. Your body burns, your brain is arguing, pleading, begging with every working limb to get them to slow down, stop, have a snack. But the relief, happiness, and sense of real, true accomplishment after you've done it is real. It soaks into your bones real. Type two really isn't the smiling type of fun at all, but it changes your perception of what you think you can do. And that idea is rad. The race medal or finisher shirt really is just window dressing in comparison. Now, I'm not throwing shade here, but anyone can show up and go skydiving or ride a roller coaster if you're tall enough. But fewer people have the patience, the grit, the tenacity to do the real work this challenge demands. Maybe because that work is grinding, repetitive, redundant, boring, not to mention time consuming and inconvenient and almost always uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm not really selling it, am I? Maybe it's also because no one's going to show up and tell you to do it either. I mean, think about it. Why run at all when you can drive there? Why grab that dumbbell to work out when you could just grab another coffee and chill? Why train for that race when you could do something else that's not as hard? Because you deserve it. And because in a way, the quality of your life depends on it. No one looks back on their life to remember the TV shows they binge watched. The things that stand out, that have added real happiness, that have made you who you are, those things come from another place. These moments stand out because you didn't know what was going to happen at the time. Maybe they scared you a little bit. They required a degree of work, dedication, and focus you didn't think you possessed. But you quickly found out whether you did or didn't. So I say do the work. Get off the couch and star in your own movie. Do the thing where nothing is guaranteed other than some degree of pain and challenge. It'll make you better for the next type two fun challenge you pursue. You know, the thing that feeds the soul. But there's another reason for doing this uncomfortable, boring sweaty work. And it extends way beyond your ability to cross that finish line. It just might prepare you for the other hard things you have to face in life whether you want to or not. You know the challenges you don't see coming, but invariably come anyway. Do you have the resolve, the energy, and the grit to face it? Only one way to find out. See you out there.